In this video, I'm going to be talking about the M plus 2 peak in a mass spec. And I'm going to be telling you, first of all, how to find the M plus 2 peak and what it represents and what you can do with the information that you obtain from the M plus 2 peak. So first of all, in order to be able to find the M plus 2 peak, you need to be able to find the M plus peak. The M plus 2 peak is a peak that is two units higher or two units to the right of the M plus peak. The M plus peak, um, as we've talked about before, is the peak on the right-hand side of the spectrum that has the greatest abundance. So if we look at the right-hand side, we find the peak with the greatest abundance. That is our M plus peak. We've talked about how the peak that is one unit above that, we call that the M plus one peak, and we're basically going to ignore it because it's just there due to the presence of carbon-13. And the peak that is two units higher, this is our M plus two peak. Let's find the M plus two peak on this spectrum. So first of all, the first we find the M plus peak on the right hand side, the peak that has the greatest abundance is our M plus peak. So that's this guy right here. And then two units above that, we've got to look at the axis down here. This this um, is pretty tight together peaks. So this peak right here is our M plus two. And so that covers how you can find the M plus two peak. It's important to note that not all molecules will have an M plus two peak on the mass spec. So it is going to not always be present. It depends on what types of atoms are in the molecule. So once you find the M plus two peak, here's what you should do with it. Um, compare the relative height of the M plus and the M plus two peak. You've got two options, either the M plus and the M plus two peak uh, are gonna be different sizes or the M plus and M plus two peaks are gonna be about the same size. And those are the only two op options that you have. So specifically in this situation, when they're not the same size, the M plus two peak is always about one third of the height of the M plus peak. And then option number two is that the peaks will be roughly the same size. And again, these are the only two different scenarios that you're going to see. When the M plus two peak is one third of the height of M plus one peak, this tells you that chlorine is present in the molecule. Chlorine is present. And the reason that we know this is because the M plus two peak is one third the height of the M plus one peak. And we'll come, or M plus, not M plus one. And we'll come back and explain why that's the case in a bit. And then over here, when our peaks, our M plus and M plus two peaks are the same size, this is this tells us that bromine is present. So we know for this spectrum that bromine is present. And the reason that we know that it's present is because the M plus two peak and the M plus peak are about the same height. They're not exactly the same height, but they're pretty close. Now, just like the M plus one peak in a spectrum, is due to the presence of the isotope, specifically carbon-13 isotope. The M plus two peaks in a spectrum are also due to the presence of isotopes. In these cases, though, the M plus two peaks are due to the presence of the isotopes of chlorine and bromine, which are two atomic mass units higher than the um, other isotope uh, that's showing up in the M plus peak. So for chlorine, 75% of all the chlorine atoms are chlorine 35, and those chlorine atoms are showing up in the M plus peak right here. And then 25% of the chlorine atoms are two units a high, a heavier than that chlorine 37. So 25% of the chlorine atoms are gonna be showing up in this peak right here. And because 25 is one third of 75, this is why we see this relative height difference between M plus two and M plus. For bromine, the acetopic abundance is 50-50. 50% of our bromine is bromine 79, and 50% of our bromine is bromine 81. So molecules that have the bromine 79 isotope are gonna be showing up in the M plus area, and the molecules that have the bromine 81 isotope are gonna be showing up in the M plus two. And because they have relatively equal abundance, 
the peaks are going to be relatively equal in height as well.